is the algorithm bad? It could be headed that way because most people don't understand what it is. The algorithm is literally shaping people's point of view, people's life outlook by constantly bombarding them with an opinion that they like. And if you constantly bombard somebody with a certain point of view and that's all they see, they'll start thinking that this is a fact. The internet is the window to the world. And within the internet, you have social media. Social media is a smaller window. Let's liken the social media window to the window at your house. Let's say you, you pull up a chair and you sit in front of the window at your house and you're looking out into your neighborhood. And then over there, there's a guy working on his car. And then over there, there's some people doing their hedges. There's some people walking a the dog. There's some people congregating laughing. There's some children playing basketball, so on and so forth. There's a lot of activities happen, happening before your eyes as you look out your window. But you like landscaping. And so you continuously focus on the guy doing his hedges. You're, that's all you're looking at is the guy doing his hedges. You're really kind of ignoring everybody else. Well, let's apply the, the rules of the algorithm to regular life. Now, the algorithm is watching you do this and it's paying attention to what you're looking at and how long you're looking at it. And the algorithm says, aha, they like this. So guess what I'm going to do? Show them more. And so at some point with you going to your window every day, now, everybody is doing landscaping. Everybody is doing their hedges. Children that was playing basketball, they're sweeping up leaves. The person that was uh, working on his car, now he's trimming limbs off the tree. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the people who are congregating, they're, they're, they're planting a garden. Everybody's into landscaping and stuff. And in your mind, because you don't understand what's happening, you say, oh, man, everybody's doing what I like. That means what I like must be the most popular thing. It's not. That's what the algorithm is continuously showing you because it thinks that's what you want to see. But because you see that all the time, you feel like this is the world. Everybody does landscaping now. Everybody's fond of landscaping. They are not. There are people out there who don't give a shit about trimming trees. There are people who don't give a shit about flowers. They exist. They're out there. But you're just being shown people who like, like landscaping. It happens all the time, and we don't pay attention to it. If you're looking to get a puppy and you start looking at videos about puppies, the algorithm keep continuously shows you things about puppies. If you're into uh, financial literacy and, and you keep going on page about financial literacy, the algorithm sees it, it continues to show you that. You can't in your mind say, wow, everybody likes puppies. Wow, everybody's into their finances. They are not. Understand, you're being played by the algorithm. So, so when you see people or you have the urge to, and I, I've, I've been a victim of it myself, you want to say, that's all people talk about on the internet. No, they're not. That's all the algorithm is showing you. There are people on the internet who don't give a damn about that. They're not even aware of that. But because the algorithm pays attention to who you follow, it pays attention to what you like, it pays attention to what you watch and how long you watch it, it formulates what it feels like you like, and it bombards you with that. People say all the time to me and other comedians, where do you find this crazy stuff? Well, we silly ass people, so the algorithm knows that we look at silly ass stuff, so it keeps showing it to us. So as a comedian, you can just cherry pick whatever you want to talk about. It just shows up on your page. And I said all that to say this. We are in a very volatile and charged political atmosphere in this country. And opinions are constantly being reaffirmed by the algorithm. If you feel strongly about this thing, then the algorithm continuously shows you posts about this thing. And in your mind, you think, wow, that's how most people feel. They feel like me and it makes you feel good and the dopamine flows. And so you constantly watch that stuff. And so in your mind, subconsciously, you block out everything else, the possibility of other opinions, and then you just feed on that. And I'm not, I'm not telling you not to feel strongly about what you feel strongly about. Hell no, because I feel strongly. But I want you to understand what's happening. Just don't don't parallel park yourself on this is how everybody feels because this is all I see on social media. And that's why I hate when politicians say stuff like the American people have spoken. No, the Americans that you talk to said this. You got to think 38 percent of Americans don't vote. So let's say 40 percent of Americans don't vote for whatever reason, for whatever reason. It doesn't matter, but they don't vote. They're not able to vote or they don't want to vote, whatever. They don't vote. So that leaves the, de the decision making for the country up to the other 60 percent. Now, that other 60 percent is divided into two groups. And in the middle, you have the moderates who usually vote on issues. They lean liberal or they lean conservative, but they're in the middle. But the ones that you see screaming online about whatever they're screaming online about, are the far left radicals and the far right radicals. So, so divide 60 into three. So you you got 20% of, of, of Republicans screaming, this is what the American people want. 
they got 20% liberals. This is what the American people want. And it might be what, what most people want. But just always keep in mind, this is only 20%. They talk like this is everybody. They talk to everybody. They know they don't know. They don't know. I, I'll, I'll leave with this here. Think about this. Some of the smartest people you ever met, people who you really thought were intelligent, are saying the craziest things. And you can't figure it out. You don't understand why. They were always smart. They were always, they were always intelligent. Now they're off the deep end. Something is reaffirming that. They didn't just get like that. That thought might have been in their head, but they never vocalize until somebody, something, some group is constantly reaffirming that. And they're just gobbling it up. They're gobbling it up. That's why they're like that. This is dangerous. But again, keep your head on a swivel, man. It's weird out here.